Whether you're a farmer or investor, you will want to take stock of these 13 quarters located 9 miles northeast of Vermilion, Alberta. 12 of the quarters are contiguous, thanks to a perfectly orchestrated plan of assemblage that Jack Cross set in motion a century ago. Whether it was producing world-class Hereford genetics, aggregate for the twinning of Highway 16, or bumper cereal and oilseed crops, the Cross Heritage Farm was for decades seen as that showcase master Western Canadian stock farm. Parcel 1 is an impeccable half section of agricultural real estate and will be offered for sale first. A person would be hard pressed to find a better half. After making the turn with the air drill on the north end and engaging the GPS southbound, you will have a good eight minutes to calculate what this parcel will add to your bottom line, knowing a 20% increase in yield is likely to double or triple your profit margin. Don't worry about paying for this half. It will pay for itself. Parcel 2 is the adjoining quarter to Parcel 1 and another exceptional parcel of farmland. For decades, the focus of the cross farm was purebred cattle and a grain farmer may wish to convert more land to cultivated acres with a bit of work. The quarter section has turned heads for years with those bumper crops along the north side of Township Road 520. Farmers know their land better than anyone and why this quarter was for the most part always cultivated and seeded down to growing crops. Parcel 3 is the sister to Parcel 2, just across the road to the south. Fertile land high in organic matter is key to producing big crops, however, it is all for naught without water. With the County of Vermilion River recording average annual rainfall of 18 and a half inches, moisture is seldom an issue. As the saying goes, just add water. Parcel 4 is the former home quarter of the Cross Heritage Farm and where special memories were made. The parcel comes with a deep sentimental attachment containing the old farmstead site, which was the heart of the farm itself. We asked the new owner to treat it with the respect it deserves. Look after it, and it has a history of looking after you while asking for nothing back. The quarter offers a great building spot with mature trees on the windward side for anyone looking for a home quarter. More acres could come under production with little work. Parcel 5 is that half section just south of the home quarter on the west side of Range Road 53. Again, grain farmers would be looking to increase cultivated acres from the current 230 under cultivation. With a starting bid of well under $3,000 a cultivated acre, the starting bid is set at half of what other land is traded for nearby. As a bonus, this parcel has significant surface lease revenue. Parcel 6 is a half section that was always the pillar for summer pasturing for the Cross Hereford Purebred Herd, whose genetics were prized across Western Canada for decades. This was during a time when mixed farming was the norm. This is a half where good clean water is never an issue for livestock. Investors will surely look at the remaining aggregate potential of this half. Although significant amounts of aggregate have already been removed, current economics relating to manufactured aggregate may warrant a further look. Testing on specific terms will be allowed before the sale date. Parcel 7 is made up of three quarters lying south of the Vermilion River. The landscape of these three quarters is likely to change substantially if purchased by a grain farmer. A discerning view of current aerials shows the large number of additional acres that can be brought under production and at current land prices. This technique is well known to make economic sense. With a large existing active aggregate deposit located a mere 385 meters to the west of this parcel, an astute bidder may find aggregate testing to be of interest as well. The surface lease revenue on this parcel is an add-on. Parcel 8 makes up the baker's dozen to the Cross Heritage Farm. A quarter with a bit of everything, including the potential to be that picturesque home quarter only five miles north of Yellowhead Highway. Build your dream home above the north bank overlooking the Vermilion River. Added bonus of surface lease revenue on this parcel. The family would like to honor Jack Cross and keep intact his legacy of assemblage. With this, parcels one to five will be offered for sale on block as one complete parcel after the conclusion of bidding on all parcels. Prior high bidders will be entitled to bid on block if they meet the on block bidding requirements. Large connecting parcels of high quality farmland like this just don't come up for sale often. 
don't miss this opportunity to add significant economies of scale to your farming operation. The Cross Family Heritage Farm will be offered for sale by online electronic tender by clhbid.com. Check the website for details from time to time, including more information on aggregate testing and the on-block bidding criteria. CLHBid.com. Selling farmland. It's all we do.